I have anything that I'd like to share with you. Do you prefer talking to other journalists? <laughs> You're very articulate. <laughs> that was last week when I was out in Hamilton. They didn't have any response, so they just banged on the bongo drums or shouted and screamed. Oh, brother. Well, today they were back in court because they haven't just been charged with trespassing. Those were anti-oil sands protesters who were trespassing a couple months ago on a pipeline pumping station. But then they went to court last week and they got in trouble there for getting into a tussle with cops. Joining them today at the courthouse was our friend Faith Golding. Hey, Faith, how you doing? Hey there, Ezra. I'm very well. Looks like they've got all sorts of techniques to ward off Sun News uh, reporters and hosts <laughs> such as ourselves. So you went out there again. This was in Hamilton again today. You went to the courthouse, right? That's right. So today, uh, five of the 13 charged appeared there, but there was no uh, protest that was basically alongside them. However, there was a group larger than themselves there, and they did also shout and yell at me from uh, within actually the courthouse just outside of the courtroom to the point where actually an officer kind of came in and said, I'm judging by these tensions, your media, who are you with? <laughs> it's things like, oh, Ezra Levant, she works with him. Oh, and, yeah. boy, that's the worst anyway. That's a terrible insult well, to say. Well, uh, you know what they said? They said, uh, you work for Ezra Levant. And I said, I keep on asking the guy for money. He just won't toss it over. <laughs> so, you know, that's you're right. willing to change. Well, like me, you work for the Sun, and we dare to ask questions rather than just be stenographers. Here, now, you tried to get some of these folks to go on the record. They're very voluble when they talk to their allies in the media, but not to skeptics. Here, let's show that first clip that you took today. Any comment today? Do you know what we can expect today from your time in court? All of the folks charged be appearing today in court? Any comment whatsoever? Yeah, they're not quite so brave when they now have to answer in the court. That last girl there with the writing on her back, that was Trish Mills. She was the one who used a bicycle lock to lock herself to the pumping station. The cops had to get a saw to cut her out. She, I think she's been taken down and off. She didn't realize that when you commit a crime, you have to go to court. Yeah, and it went from off the fence at G20 to on the fence with line nine, correct? Yeah. And the sad thing is that with a lot of these folks, I don't ask, you know, particularly slanted questions. It's yeah. very simple. What can we expect in court yeah. today? Yeah. These are standard run of the mill journalistic yeah. questions not even as deep as do you know that it's OPEC oil that's going yeah. through there and we'd like to just change it up to some Canadian yeah. ethical oil yeah. not even getting into any of that just uh. hey who's gonna be joining you in court yeah. today they won't talk to us uh, I was told to basically F off uh, more than once. Yeah, well, we today. saw they blurred out one of the fingers. Yeah. It got gross. I mean, when I was there, yeah. there was some pushing and shoving. I, I think that same guy with the beard pushed me and shoved me a bit but today now uh, I gotta say, viewer discretion advice. This is so gross. If you got a, a gag reflex, <laughs> as I do, do not listen to this. Faith, I gotta put it on the record. What did they do to you in the courthouse? Okay, Ezra. So picture this. I'm I don't just want to. minding I do my not want own to. business, <laughs> going about you know my little Twitter feed and checking my emails. When all of a sudden, something putrid Oof. emerges in the air. Oof. And so I gaze up from my phone, my ah. own little world where I was harmlessly <laughs> sitting and dwelling. And there before me was not one of the charged, but one of the supporters of the Line 9 protesters. Bottom, I was seated right in front of me. And all of the onlookers, namely the other Line Niners, um, had their faces within their, you know, uh, shirts. So laughing. they farted in your face. That is, what you're is exactly what I, happened, I, Ezra. They, these people, I have been there. I just had to loosen my tie because this, I swear to God, <laughs> this is making me gag. I know those people. I have been in their close quarters. The fact that they thought the smartest thing they can come up to you to do was to fart at Are you. Are your eyes watering right I, now? I, 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 and I wasn't even there. It's so <laughs> gross. Imagine. It's so this gross. this is a discernible smell above and oh beyond. My, okay, we got to stop. The usual orders. <laughs> I want to tell you, though, I did a little bit of research into farts. Mm -hmm. I went to the EPA website on farting. This is why we And I should tell you that if you're opposed to oil because it has CO2 emissions, I should tell you that CH4, which is the technical term for methane, which is what is in farts, has a 21, to be present, 21 times more global warming power per molecule as CO2. That fart that was directed at you, Faith, is 21 times more global warming-ish than if they had burned uh, oil instead. Well, actually, a nearby officer said that I could even press charges for administering noxious uh, substances. <laughs> He's not so kidding. I mean, to spit on someone is assault, and to fart in someone's face, ah. Uh, Geez, I barely uh, managed to get through this segment. It's great to see you keep on fighting <laughs> and stay safe. You got a lighter best. to that kind. It's good.